Duke Luca of Bell tore down the original palace in Karnaka, his birthplace, in order to build a lavish structure that cost enough to feed everyone in Circonos for years. It's said to be a sprawling estate to humble all others, a monument to his ego and sense of princely entitlement. But whatever the Duke has done to his nation happened while I was Empress. In Dunwall, we were content to look the other way as long as the silver kept flowing. I've got to get inside the Grand Palace, deal with the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. You should be at peace. I have stayed too long. Find a last spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. and sucking the marrow out of the same people who built it. Yes, I regret my affiliation with the young Duke, but his father and I were close. It was my hope that Luca would eventually grow up and learn that his actions as ruler of Sirkonos have very real consequences. <laughs> he could always count on the backing of Dunwall's finances and navy. Maybe without that, he would have developed a healthy respect for the people of Sirkonos. Fear of the executioner's block has been a fine motivator for many a ruler. Once the Duke falls, it's my hope that we can build something better here. Something more representative and inclusive. Are you ready for this? I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Getting inside might not be the hard part. The Duke doesn't exactly run a tight ship. Killing off Duke Abella is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I've got a map of the Grand Palace for you, and I know something that may be useful. There's a hidden lever in the pantry that opens a passage to the Duke's vault. If he's keeping anything precious for Delilah, I suspect that's where it'll be. Beyond that, Good hunting. Everyone who crosses my path on the way to Duke of Bell is going to regret it. They all deserve to bleed. Meet me at the skiff. <sighs> it's likely that the palace is trashed. They say the Duke lives like a 12-year-old tyrant. If we make it all the way back to Dunwall, there are some things I need to tell you. Hmm. It's not widely known, but the Duke has a body double. The man is the spitting image of Luca. A likable fellow, and quite humble. I've no idea where they found him, but the Duke's double has spent years passing for the Duke. I suppose Luca always hoped his double would be there to take an assassin's bullet. 
Take care. I hope to see you again. Huh? I hope I've been of some help to you. It's good to feel useful here near the end of my time. Look at you. In a lifetime, how many monarchs have done half of what you have in a month? I hear the Duke's wine cellar is exquisite, if you happen to pass through. I remember telling you stories at the Hound Pits pub so long ago. How you've changed. I wonder what Aramis Stilton can accomplish now that things are... different. A gangster could never be trusted to run a city. Byrne wanted to be High Overseer. Everyone knew I'd bring trouble. Even the gangs. 
The Duke's brother has been dead for a long time. But now is my chance to get back at Luca Abel for setting him off against pretty, young Deirdre. Nothing was the same for me after they took her away. Ready to visit the Duke? Let's get underway. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crap. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Sorry if I sound bitter. Don't turn your back on the Duke. After we leave Karnaka, I'll get you to Dunwall. But then I'm done. You won't hear from me again. I know not everyone who lives in a great palace is a snake. But it's real easy to get accustomed to eating off silver plates. If you figure out which one is the Duke's double, you might want to see what he knows. You wouldn't believe it. But I could have ended the Duke a long time long time ago. Wish I had now. If something happens and you don't make it back, I might have a go at Duke Bell. When this is done, we leave Karnaka at once. I won't be sorry to leave this city. I've done all I can here. I've earned what I've got, even the scars. Especially the scars. Take care of yourself. We'll be there when you're ready. That's why they call it the black market. Can't just sit here. Too much chance a grand guard catches on to us, or maybe rightful owners coming to pick it up. What's the delay getting it to the shop? Better you afraid we'll get caught? The guy that runs the shop is nervous. But if they just let us move it straight off the boat. Now, I got a friend over at the shop. Been running protection for black market shops for years here in Karnaka and over at Colorado. 
so there's basically no risk. What's your friend's name? Uh-uh. That's a secret. These guys deal with me and nobody else. Job security. This shift, then I can go and have a mug of something at the pub and feel a little like myself. Another day like yesterday, yeah. I think I'll give it up for good. Better off in the void. Fooling around. <clears throat> Why does she want that apartment? Dust everywhere, no matter what. Somewhere. Ah, oh, no, no, you bastard! Come on, you bastards! Be good to me. Yes! change. The Duke's given the Grand Guard leeway to create new fees when needed. <laughs> you know who else had a nice shop? That clockmaker. Serafina? Her shop burned down. Yeah, my report said it was probably the Howlers. But no one knows how the fire started. Captain, her brother died in that fire. Asleep inside, drunk from what I remember. You've got until tomorrow to pay up. <sighs>
something's happened. What did I do to deserve this? Of all the shit assignments. No, no, no! On top of a building half infested with blood flies. Why is there a wall of light protecting the palace anyway? Who's going to attack a man like the Duke? This is the kind of luck I have, guarding a blasted wind. I'm a stone's throw from the Grand Palace where I'd be surrounded by opulence. The mother was right. I should have signed on as an engineer in the Wind Corridor. Killer? Heard some victims were found. The overseers are still waging war oh, against the howlers everywhere. in the Dust District. Despite everything else going on, that's what happens when you've got someone like the Duke running things. Things are about to change in Karnaka. I can feel it. My husband's been trying to sell our woodworking shop. If we can, we're packing up the kids and relocating to Morley. Gristle's in chaos with everyone fighting over the new Empress, and Tivia's too cold. Say the boat's moored in the bay and they haven't paid any taxes. Exactly. Like they'll pay for that. We should go out there and get our due. More likely it's some kind of promotion.
shopkeepers don't stand a chance in the city. Oh, I'm sorry. Please, come in. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. I should close the shop until the dust settles. Either you have the code, or I assume something's off my boss's orders. Didn't open the store. You know I won't do this. You're wasting time. Let's see what this says. This whole 
setup is a huge pain in the ass. Timing windows that ignore the tides, fake boat manifests, and private door codes. Might be easier just to play it straight, pick up and deliver goods. Anyway, so I don't forget it, the code for the black market shop is Sir Conan Wine is better than Tivian Prisons. Hey! Idiot. Oh, hello! Conan wine is better than Tivian prisons. And better Crystallian clap than Morellian gout. All right. Down stomach, and there will be a new short. Ah, uh, uh, wait!
familiar somehow. Like it's looking right inside me. <coughs> Did someone hear some thunder or something? Honestly, people jump at the littlest things. anywhere after all. got the answer about my transfer inland. Relocation denied. Look on the bright side. The pay is better here than anywhere else. And we get to do the job how we see fit. Nobody's pestering us with forms and procedures anymore. We collect the fees we want and give out the beatings when they're needed. I just don't want my kids growing up here. It's too dangerous. Then reapply next month. The command staff changes constantly. New officers, new rules. And spread a few coins here and there among the officers.
Some of us used to give lessons at Adermeyer, back when it was open to the public. Different city in those days. Didn't know that. Man, you sure had a lot of different jobs. Guess so. I don't miss brining hagfish. Hands in salt all day, nails bleeding, choking on the factory air. At least when you joined the Grand Guard, you got a really soft position near the palace. You might change your mind about that after you've been here a while. Sometimes the Duke's friends do some strange shit. Really? Like what? One night, someone up there decided it'd be funny to throw down food at us. I got hit in the face with a pineapple. Then a whole roasted pig came down and split the boat in half. It was raining apples and meat pies. All sorts of nice food floating around in the water. Damn. People in the city starving. Life's just not the same when you live up there, is it? What? Where's my pistol? My pistol! Someone stole it! job but he looks and acts just like the duke i can't tell him apart there are subtle differences all right assuming you can pick out duke luca how are we going to get his key you leave that to me who knows what he's got in that vault we'll be halfway to gristle and rich before he's nursing the next day's hangover yeah, that's a good plan the way this place is run you sure he always keeps the key with him? I'm sure. We'll do it tomorrow night when there's only one squad scheduled for patrol. Just be ready. Get ready to pay, Duca Bell. quarters tonight? Nope. As long as it's not me, I don't care. It was never any fun. I'm not sure it's worse, the Duke or his body double. One's half likely to have you flogged for looking at him wrong. The other might just bore you to death.
Sometimes a man just needs time by himself. My responsibilities weigh upon me. be able to spend a single one. No offer to bow or kiss my hand. I could say the same. A mystery. Let's have it then. Who are you and what do you want? Listen, I think you're the Duke's body double. You can't have any love for the man. I'm here to end his rule. And I have an idea you should hear. All right, you've figured it out. But if you're not here to assassinate the Duke, what do you want? It occurs to me that you might make a more agreeable Duke than Luca Abel. If I wanted to depose him without having to slit his throat, do you think you could convince people that you're the Duke? That's bold. I have to admit it's crossed my mind. If people believed that I was actually Duke Abel, and that he was the political decoy, we could have him committed for lunacy. We could convince everyone that the Double's finally lost his mind and believes he's the Duke. I've spent years perfecting my performance. But there's a catch. He's got a medallion that I need. Even if I sound convincing, which should be the easy part, his Grand Guard officers will ask to see the medallion as proof. Luca never puts it aside. All right. It shouldn't take me long. Once it's done, I'll be leaving the city. Soon after, I'll send instructions from Dunwall, and I'll expect a great deal of flexibility and cooperation on your part. There's still time to pull Sir Konos back from the edge of the cliff. We can undo the damage Duke Abel has inflicted. I'd like that. But I'll guide Sir Konos in the ways I see fit for the people here, not as the hand-chosen puppet of your empire. If you agree with that, just render the Duke unconscious and bring him to his chambers. I'll handle the rest. Don't raise an alarm. You've got to keep things calm for this to work. Honestly, if you would have killed Luca, the Grand Guard probably would have hung me anyway. There's so much that could be done from this palace. So many things that could be better. I never thought this would happen. It's exciting. But remember, to make this work, you've got to be stealthy. Get the Duke, bring him to his room, and be careful about it. Don't raise a ruckus. The Lila Copper Spoon. Even the boldest were afraid. 
wondering if we'd live to see another feast. Now Zirconis is ascendant, but this is a story that began long years before. I knew Delilah when I was only a boy. And even after she was lost, dead, and gone from the world, her memory burned in my mind. Until finally I began to hear her whispering, calling to me from the void. Telling her story of growing up in Dunwall Tower, and the half-sister who cheated her of her throne. Then she told me there was a way to bring her home. Delilah. Beautiful. Immortal. Don't look so disappointed. It's not it's about Mary. The inner circle is packed with the Duke's pets. Rick Spittles. At least I'm not one of them. Exactly. And think, when all this fighting over thrones is settled, the Duke's going to need men to take charge in the Northern Isles. By this time next year, you could be in charge of Winddown or Freyport. Where even the most desirable have skin like pale slugs. That's what the brandy is for. Something bad is gonna happen. I just know it. Where's the Duke? Are you going to go through with it? I told you this will work. Just go subdue Luca. Put him on my bed. I'll handle the rest. Get the Duke, and don't raise the alarm. Be quick and quiet about this. I can take Luca's place. No one will know. Once you've got him, bring him to his room. Don't let anyone see you.
I remember sneaking out of my room, listening to my mother play for my father. If the old duke could only see this, wasteful expense, wanton flesh, and such terrible wines, at least he knew better than to serve Tivian with hangfish. Joke if you want to. Our new duke spends more in one month than his father spent in a year. Old Theodana Sabel was tight with the coin. Why worry? When the war is done, we'll have it back tenfold in tribute. This is the Circonian Age, my friend. The Age of Luca Abelli. Enjoy it. The Old Duke? The Old Duke was wise. Yes, the Old Duke was careful. But the New Duke dragged the Empress off her throne and gave us the Isles. So tell me, who's the better man? Some kind of trouble in this part of town? Honestly, why can't they keep all that riffraff in a separate place? Seems the Duke has some of the Jindosh Clockwork soldiers. One leak and another springs up. His brother died on the dirty streets of Dunwall. Struck down in his youth. Words out. Someone in a mask or something. Well, just wait till they see. Leave me. I want to be alone with my thoughts. No offer to bow or kiss my hand? I could say the same. A mystery. Let's have it then. Who are you and what do you want? Luca Abel, it's time to pay for your crimes. Bleeding your nation dry. All the corruption and the coup against your rightful empress. I assure you, there is only one true empress in my heart, and her name is Delilah. Just got word that something's happening. 
This must be the key to the Duke's vault. Schools, travel, and the mentors. His father gave him every opportunity, but it was never enough. She is more than a lover to him. He counts the moments until he sees her again. The advisors surrounding him are handpicked for their ability to run the silver mines beyond capacity. He avoids those who once worked in the mines. Another building lost to blood flies. He sees the city thick with their nests, empty of people. But only after he's faded from the world. Those who tow the on him are only tolerable because they free him from the constant whining demands that pile on his feet. I am tired. How long, my dears? How long must I endure in this shadow state? Do Gluca a bell. It's nothing. Combat protocol eight. Combat protocol six. Combat. I'm not impressed. Executed.
close my locker before coming out. Put him there. All right. The That's it then. Now it's up to me. I'll take the medallion and call them. I'll be watching. Break a leg. <laughs> Don't worry. I've spent years mimicking this asshole. Captain Almeida, come at once to my chambers. There's a problem. Quick, hide up there. Yes, Captain. Please arrest this clown. It seems he's taken his role a little too seriously. Get your hands off me! This moonstruck idiot is lost in a nightmare. Take him away, Captain, and cut his tongue from his head. He'll not sully my name. Yes, Your Eminence. We'll handle it. What? This is outrageous. I'll have you all skinned alive and set in a salt bath. All those years pretending he was me. That must have taken a toll on his spirit. Now he's a danger to me and Circonus. No, stop! I am the Duke of Circonus. You can't do this. Dr. Hypatia at Atomire will know what to do with the poor man. I'm still trying to get my head around this. It's incredible. It'll be dicey for a while because I may be missing a few details. As quickly as I can, I'll turn over the palace guard. That will help cover me. Once you're off for Dunwall, I'll wait for your messages. I'll need all the help I can get turning this around. Hmm. People of Karnaka, this is your rightful ruler, Empress Emily Drexel Leela Caldwin. I came here to Karnaka, the Jewel of the South, with one purpose in mind. To set things right with the Duke of Circonos, Luca Abel, who has of late been deceived by the pretender to my throne, Delilah Copperspoon. Duke Abel and I are old friends, and at his heart, he is a loyal ally and servant to the Empire. I am your Empress, but my father is Sir Conan, and your blood flows through my veins. I will leave you now and return to Dunwall, but know this. We have parlayed, and the Duke now understands the crisis in full. My hope is to restore my throne in Dunwall with haste. I bid you farewell, and ask you to maintain your faith and loyalty. I will address you again soon. to be on the Duke's payroll. Sure, he knows how to talk with the boss. 
What a lick spill. No plague, no war, no taxes, if you know the right people. New machines and new ideas. We eat the finest foods and we're guests in the Grand Palace. Yes, you, me, and our well-born friend squatting close to the Duke as he drains the blood from the corpse. Soon, none of it will matter. Someone's killing people across the city. Life is worth shit! That's why you don't get invited to half the parties I attend. Such gloomy thoughts. I've ordered food for the Duke's in office. How do you know it'll get to the Duke? I just got this assignment, but yesterday I heard Major talking about the Duke's political double. You don't worry about that. Besides, in the end, it's all the same. We serve the food, and the Duke decides who eats it. That's true, Evan. Got it all wrong. Last time I had a It's kind of dry. Really go for a whiskey or something. Maybe one of the drinks. Don't look so disappointed. It's not about merit. The inner circle is packed with the Duke's pets. Look, Spittles. At least I'm not one of them. Exactly. And think, when all this fighting over thrones is settled, the Duke's going to need men to take charge in the Northern Isles. By this time next year, you could be in charge of Windown or Freeport. Where even the most desirable have skin like pale slugs. That's what the brandy's for. Every day for weeks now. All of this to entertain a statue? Someone said the Duke believes Empress Delilah can talk to him through the statue. Well, if he's trying to pull off some witchcraft love trick, he's doing it wrong. And I can't feel my fingertips anymore. Uh, there once was a man from Old Lamper. Was cock over as we as it lived. Come on, come on! What would you do if you were the Duchess of Circonos, or some other ruler, the Queen of Morley, or even the Empress? More of what I already do. Screwing, eating fine meals, smoking the best heavily. And when I wasn't doing that, I'd be buying exotic furniture from Tivia, having my apartments redecorated. So you wouldn't really change much? Uh, no, of course not. What's the point of having power if you can't just do whatever you want?
this crooked cock. Now we're getting somewhere. I could spend hours just looking across the bay. You won't see any whales this far south. They like the colder, deeper water. We get a few, but not today. Besides, I'm more interested in the occasional boat, or maybe catching a glimpse of something going on at Adermire. This is the life, isn't it? Being a friend of the Duke's has its advantages. My mother's old money. So, to tell you the truth, it's the only life I've known. They keep all the riffraff in a separate place.
once they say something's amiss, then I just can't get comfortable. Wait. Someone else's time. Let's organize an outing. some unusual gossip over dinner. That's a horrid idea. hoped I'd see the other isles. I've heard the wages in Tivia are twice what we make here. Weeks of puking up heart attack on a ship just to freeze your ass off in some northern port? Besides, we make more here in Karnaka with on-the-spot taxes and fees. Eh, maybe. It is nice having discretionary jurisdiction here. <laughs> Less paperwork. But think about it. No blood flies. No howlers. You don't think they have gangs up in Tivia? It's dark for half the year up there. Trust me, we're better off here. See what Duca Bell keeps hidden away in here. This must be the Duke's vault. Spoon. This is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit.
At this point, the clockwork is scouting. This is it. Release me from this dead vessel. Free of this poison world and trap to lie in the spirit. Do it. You were all I ever wanted. Let me go. I have seen too much of this world. There is blood on our hands. I did it for you. To keep your throne. For your legacy. My daughter. You are becoming everything I fought against. I love you. But let me go. So it's done. Now to take the lines. The heart of my half sister. Only her flesh remains. Maybe Delilah's spirit was holding it together. You will never gain back what you lost here. Did you think she'd be pleased with what you'd become? You're alone now. I'm your only family. Every time you drew your blade, a part of her died. I have it to two impossible places at once. A prison of dead flesh, after a prison of bones. You will take me back and die at my hands. Would the Duke keep this old thing?
uh, did you say you could hit him in the head? Or that you could avoid hitting him? <laughs> no idea. Too drunk to remember. Anyway, he's not moving anymore, so maybe I killed him. <laughs> oh, maybe he fainted. Let's bet something else. See if he wakes up when you hit him in the leg. Sure, my man. Let's ask things? the land agent to reinspect the riverside drains. There's something comforting about this. It's saying something. There. Now to wait. I saw the signal. So, is that it? The fall of Karnaka? From now on, the Duke will be guided by better stars. Back to the dreadful whale, then, and on toward Dunwall. Yes, at long last, to take back the throne and find a way to save my father. Ready, then? Take me back to the ship. All right, as you want. 